Yeah. Welcome everybody. Hello. This is Lachey Show. Is me today is Sunday, May 21st. And today is a new... I know. They, <laughs> they feeling me out here. <laughs> today is a national holiday up in here. Yes, it is. Okay. Today is Notorious B.I.G.'s birthday. It's a big deal for Brooklyn. It's yes. a big deal for me. And what a better way to celebrate a king than to have his best friend slash brother, Little C's, in the orange basement, y'all. Orange basement. <laughs> this would be, <laughs> be now. <laughs> What's up, Lachey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Right. Can I just say, I am... HypeWilliams.com right now. <laughs> I am super, super hype. First off, I just want to say thank you. Uh, without question. Without oh, question. Man. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know you my... I'm my... in the orange basement. You, you, you gave me some lecture about this basement. So. Yo, it's history. That I love the setup. I, I love the like hospitality. Yeah, of course. I, I, I truly appreciate that. We hard always. I truly appreciate that. It's all love. And thank you for having me. You know what I mean? It's, uh, Anytime. It's, uh, it's an honor. It's a pleasure. You know you my bed style brethren. Y'all got brethren. me up early. Yeah, y'all got me up early today. <laughs> You know you my best style yeah. brethren, right? That's right, that's right, for sure. We from the same hood. That's right. I, I used to live on uh, Putnam between Lewis and Sumner. Oh, you from you from the star star. That's like the real best star. Which I guess now is Marcus Garvey Boulevard. Yeah. It's not it's Sumner. No it more. changed, yeah. Um, you still in, in the star? No, nah, I'm in, I'm in uh, Park Slope now. Oh, okay. And not too far from the Barclays, but... That's still right next door. Uh -huh. still, still Brooklyn. I'm still in Brooklyn. That's it. As long as I don't leave Brooklyn, I'm still there. You going to stay there forever? <clears throat> nah. Oh, okay. I want to go somewhere with some more, you know, luxury. I want to, I want basement, I want patios. I want to be out into that suburb. Basement? Yeah, I want that suburban <laughs> life. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do enjoy that space and that, that, you know, that type of stuff now. You know, you grow out of that. Mm-hmm. Being in the neighborhood type thing, you know, but you know your your home is your home, so That's I'm right. never go I'm never oh, gonna yeah, leave that I'm never gonna forget that. But you know, I'm I'm in, I'm into that mature mature lifestyle the way you want to be. Mm -hmm. You want to enjoy the space and time and you know little things oh, yeah. matters as you get older. You remember me <sighs> from the uh the how we stay uh Fulton Street days? <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago yeah. when when when, was... when Pooper used to harass Big. For, to get you on one of my remixes and yep. now i know once you put me on the stairs i was like oh, <laughs> oh shit damn i forgot about that you know i was young running around but you know well you've been on my radar for for over 20 years and and you still are and i'm i'm uh, honored to have you here i uh, appreciate it appreciate um, it i'm honored to be here too so tell me how you been i've been good you know working you know, maintaining trying to take care of myself health wise mm. life wise i see you coming in here all dieseled up like uh I'm three. I'm three <laughs> weeks back in. Uh, you know, I, I took a hiatus off the workout for a minute. I mm -hmm. lost. Uh, I lost one of my sisters four years ago to cancer. Oh. And uh, when she passed away, <clears throat> I wasn't into the spirit of working out, and I was trying to make sure her son was all right. My, my mom's. That was my mom's first sibling. Her first child she lost mm -hmm. out of the six of us. Okay. So when my sister passed away. It kind of took me out of my comfort zone of just doing what I was doing. And uh, where do you fall in in the six? <clears throat> I'm the youngest. Really? Yeah. Four, it was it was four girls and I got one brother, and he just he's fifty one. Oh. My oldest sister is fifty three. Oh, you know what I mean? So all my I got I got OG sisters and brothers like all of them older than me. That's interesting. <clears throat> I never knew. That. Yeah. Today would have been Biggie's 
40, 45th yeah, birthday. Yeah, he was in the 45 years old. That's crazy. Just, just, just talking, just hearing that. Um, <laughs> what do you typically do to celebrate on, on Biggie Day? <sighs> um, normally what I do is, uh, you know, first thing I do is probably text his mom mm-hmm. or call her. Just to say hi to her. Mm-hmm. She's Jehovah's Witness, so she don't, you know, she don't celebrate no holidays. And and I know these these type of days be like real, you know, crazy days for her because that was her only son. So right. you know, these days like this with without Big being there, that's the first thing I think about is right. his moms. And I shoot her a text or call her, hey, just saying what's up, you know, how you doing? And it's not it's not like even if we talk about him. I would just hit her just to acknowledge right. her, and she already know we don't got to right. talk about that. Right. It's just, hey, how you doing today? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm okay. You know, going to church, and you know, she'll go do her regular normal thing. And now it's just like, I extend that to his kids. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Tiana woke me up this morning, his daughter. <laughs> so that's how Mr. C came and got me this morning. He spoke to Shout her. She to was over. Yeah, you know what I <laughs> mean? Shout out to Mr. C. But she, she woke me up this morning mm-hmm. to text me to let me know, yo, Mr. C coming to get you. Right. You know what I mean? So that's like my main thing, just to reach out to his his immediate first and just say what's up to them and you know the day starts with just me going out celebrating with you know, all my junior mafia members you know nino brown and yeah you know, i'm gonna get i'm gonna ask you about yeah i reach, i know i reach out to hit everybody up and then we just kind of just go celebrate and we go hang out through brooklyn and, and, and show the love and mm-hmm. but this is different today today i came on the lachey show on yeah, big birthday this morning today you know what was mean? your so, first stop and i'm yeah. super super it's my honest. first stop today you know it's a whole big day you know uh, his daughter had a pop-up shop today uh, it's going on that paper box oh yeah you gotta let us know yeah about the she's details yeah she's doing that. a pop-up shop for her notorious clothing line she got a notorious clothing line so, is it in brooklyn yeah it's in brooklyn oh, right. it's a place called paper box today so, so uh, give us all the details yeah for sure definitely. so as far as you um what you're saying that you know health wise you working out diligently i see you yeah, on the yeah. gram yeah definitely, and um definitely. you doing your thing so tell me about like your daily regimen i want to know like what do you do like you eating right you doing yeah. almond milk like what what's the process here well i just started this uh i just started this raw juice uh this raw juice diet to where it's just vegetable juices and Hennessy. i don't do smooth yeah <laughs> Today is today. I'm making an exception. It's a bi day today, so you know we gotta make an exception. But oh, okay. without that, I'm normally on a. I just started this uh, raw juice diet where it's just fresh juices and with vegetables. Like you know, I wake up every day and I lemons, okay. and I put some oranges and ginger into a little blender, mm-hmm. juice it up, and I drink like four or five of those a day. Wow! I eat one hot meal a day. I've been doing that for like the last month. What did you eat yesterday? What was your meal what did I yesterday? Eat yesterday? Uh, I cheated yesterday because I went to a barbecue. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had some. Uh, I ain't eat chicken in three weeks because I, I sometimes I do this little fashion thing where I won't eat chicken and uh, I won't eat chicken and beef for a month. That's okay. where I kind of do like this little fake vegan thing. Fake? And I eat vegan and vegetarian stuff, but I, you know, it's just I'm just trying new things to. What you had yesterday though? You had a rib or what? I had, no, I had one burger. Oh. I had one burger yesterday. Shame but on you. But I ain't eat meat in three weeks. I ain't eat no chicken or beef in three weeks. That was my first time eating it yesterday. So it kind of broke my fasting, and I'm gonna eat some more. Uh, you gonna eat better? You gonna do better today? Nah, I'm cheating today. <laughs> I'm gonna start back over tomorrow. You know, it's still a celebration. You know, it's, it's be our birthday. I'm gonna be in all these restaurants and places, so it's it's hard to maintain it. I but know, I, I it juice, a, I juice a lot though. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you know, it's nothing wrong to take that one day off to cheat and you know enjoy you. yourself. But you know, every six days out the week, I'm still eating right and you know, taking you. care of myself, and you know so. I have a fitness company called Hard Body Fitness, which I started from when I started losing weight. Oh. I started working out, so I'm still trying to maintain that, and keep that going. You train people? Uh, I train people. I know I'm not certified, so I don't want nobody to sue me Ain't in case they the hurt themselves. You, know yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody suing me if they do the wrong pull ups or the wrong dips and they they hit their shoulders or mess up their back or something. But don't that's a nice me. little side hustle. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I do it for my friends. You know, people mm-hmm. that want to get motivated to work out. You know. I give him a little meal plan, show him how to eat, and mm-hmm. I take him to the park. And I run Prospect Park at least three times a week. Mm. That's four miles every day. Mm. I go jog the park. You know, so I'm just trying to take care of myself. You helping chicks out here get their bottoms right? Yeah. For the yeah. summer. I help them. You know, I don't do too many squats and all that. That's not a manly workout. You know, but you know, I try to hook them up every now and then when I can. I know that everybody knows you from the style, but I wanted to know where's your family from? Um. I mean, we all grew up. My 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 mom's is from Birmingham. Oh, Alabama. My mom was born and raised yeah, oh, in Birmingham. My father, South. my father passed away four years ago, and he was from South Carolina. So. Oh, what part? My uh, family from South Carolina my too. My father is from. Uh, uh, don't don't get me wrong, Charleston. Okay. Yeah, 
he was he was there, and my mom's from uh, Birmingham. Oh, so. okay. But when you when growing up, did you live in a two parent household? Was yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah, my pop was around since I was a kid, and once I became like 11, 12 years old, they split up, and my pops lived separately. But they was they never got divorced, so oh. they were still together. They were just they just moved out mm. separately. But I was the always hood around. Split. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was always around moms and pops, so you know. I grew, up a, I grew up around that family orientated mm. type of vibe. You know what I mean? I, I'm very about the family. My sisters and mm-hmm. my nieces and nephews, we all maintain. We all still tight. You know, So I, I grew up around that family thing like that. How old were you when you when you met Big? I was about, what, uh, about seven? Six wow. or seven years old. When I was graduating from public school. Wow. I was on my way to my graduation. I got, I got hit by a car two days before I graduated out of public school. So was I was it? walking to my public school with crutches Are on. Are you serious? Yeah, and Big was outside. Big gave me like $2, $3 like before I went to my graduation. Because I was always asking all the hustlers and all the guys that should be on the strip. I was always, come out there, give me a dollar. Give me 50 cents. Buy me some <laughs> peanuts. And I used to harass them all day. So every time Big used to see me, he's always, he already go in his pocket. Because he, he, he knew. He always just like, it's my little homeboy mm-hmm. right here. He's like, what's up? You good, little man? You straight? I'm like, nah, let me, let me get a dollar. <laughs> he $2. said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, man, and he'd just always come by, give me a little two dollars, three dollars. You wow. going to school? As long as I was making my route towards that school, he'd give me anything he wanted. So you know, I knew big since I was like six, seven years old. What high school did you go to? Uh, I went to Sarah J. Oh, Sarah J. Hell. Did you go to Sarah J? Oh. Did you, Sarah J. I yeah, got kicked out of there before him. Christmas. I got I got kicked out before Christmas. Yeah, good night. Before the, the Christmas. Uh, good. Kicked out for thing, what? Yeah. Uh. I brought a I brought a house knife to school one day because I was scared. That was my first time going to high school. And you know, a house you hear, knife for what? Yeah, one of the big joints because why, why? it was high school. You know, you thinking you go there, all these dudes from different neighborhoods, Brownsville, East New York, and you going there out. And all my friends was already two years older than me, so they always they was already at the school before me. And I used to hear these stories about like when you come to school, sometimes right. your friends not in your class or not in your floor. You got to make sure you just. I just wanted to make sure I was good. And so they kicked you out? I, yeah, I got caught with the knife in school, yeah. And I wound up getting kicked out there, and I went to Washington Irving okay. in the city. Uh-huh. And I probably went there for about two months and got kicked out of there. And you were a hellion. That's what you were. I wasn't even really that bad. I was very, I was very a good kid. I was just always around Did the wrong crowd. Did you graduate? No. I left school 10th grade and went on the